This creamy, dreamy, melting your mouth chocolate fudge is the perfect holiday treat. With just a few ingredients, this chocolate fudge comes together in minutes. Hi, you're watching Plating It With Wendy, where I share with you recipes which impress with these. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a like. And if you haven't subscribed already, press that subscribe button. And while you're at it, hit on that bell icon so you get notified every time I upload a new video. Now, let's get started. Okay, before we get started on the fudge, let's prep the tray because once the fudge is ready, you gotta put it straight into the tray because it's going to start setting. We want a little bit of a thickish fudge, so we are going with an eight by eight, but you could go in with a nine by nine or a nine by 13 tray, and accordingly, the thickness of the fudge will change. Now to line the tray, what we're gonna do is to flip it over. And we're gonna take a parchment paper, and we're gonna place it over and then just mark the four corners. You don't have to be too neat while doing this. Pretty quick. So now we've got our four corners all marked. So now we're gonna fold it down. And we're gonna fold it down this way too. So this is gonna be our guiding line. Now what we're going to do here is simply cut along over here till we reach the point. Now what we're going to do is take our tray and very lightly brush on some butter. This is going to act like the glue to hold the paper down. And I'm going to take the paper and place it inside. And these pieces which overlap, we're just going to apply some more butter so that they hold back. Now if you want you can trim it a little bit but make sure to keep an overhang because that's going to help you remove the fudge from the tray. And now our tray is all prepped and we are ready to start with the fudge. For this super duper easy chocolate fudge you need three and a half cups of sweetened condensed milk. Using sweetened condensed milk to make fudge not only helps it to come together in just a few minutes but it also helps to give it a creamy smooth texture. When making chocolate fudge in the microwave, I always like to add the condensed milk before the chocolate because the bowl tends to get a little heated at the bottom and this is going to prevent the chocolate from burning. And now to that, we're going to add four cups, which is 680 grams of semi-sweet chocolate chips. Now you can add any chocolate chips that you love to eat, excepting I would stay away from milk chocolate because it takes longer to set. And now to that, to give our chocolate fudge a little shine, we're going to go in with one tablespoon of unsalted butter. And to bring out the flavor of the chocolate, we're just going to add a pinch of salt. And now for the magic to happen, we're going to pop this into the microwave for a total of two minutes in 30 second increments, one minute at a time. Let's give it a stir so that we get the chocolate all mixed up. And you can see the chocolate is already beginning to melt. Now we're gonna pop this back into the microwave for another minute, but only at 30 second increments. Today we're going in with a nut-free quick method of making chocolate fudge. But if you want to know the double boiling technique, check out my chocolate hazelnut fudge. I will leave the link in the description box below. Now let's give this a quick stir again and you'll find that all the chocolate is melting so well now. So it's just taken two minutes for our chocolate fudge to get ready. I don't think we need to put this in again. All we need to do is mix it up well. And with the heat that's in the fudge already, the remaining chocolate chips will melt. There you go. They're all melted. Now we're going to add in one teaspoon of pure vanilla extract and I'm using a real good quality one. I'm going to add that in and give it a quick mix. And now it's time to pour it into our prep tray. Wow, can you see that? Now let's pour this in.
And for some added texture, we're going to take an offset spatula and just run it down so that we get an uneven surface on the top. For the fudge to set, we're going to pop it into the refrigerator for a minimum of four hours, but overnight would be best. And let's open it up and see how beautifully it has set. Now we're going to use the overhangs that we had kept to pull the fudge out. Okay, we're going to peel off the paper. The fudge has set really well. Now it's time to cut it up into bits. I like to cut it with a bend scraper because you get to put the pressure from the top, but you could go in with a knife as well. Now we're going to divide this into about five long strips and then we'll cut them into squares after that. So I'm just going to eyeball it. And what I like to do is to just wipe the bend scraper a little bit before we give the second cut. This is a creamier version of fudge, so you might find it a little bit soft when cutting it, but don't worry, it will firm up once it's cut. Now let's cut it down the other side. The best way to store this fudge is to put it in an airtight box and place it in the refrigerator. Oh my goodness, look at that. This chocolate fudge makes an excellent homemade gift. And what I've done is that I bought a gift box and I've cut two parchment sheets and I've used the unbleached parchment just for the color. And I'm gonna place one vertically, just pressing it down and then folding it underneath for now. And one horizontally. I'm gonna give it a fold here so it stays down. Now we can place a second row and we can fit a third row. And now we're going to flip this side over and take this and flip it over this way and then cover it up with these two sides. Now we place the lid on and we're ready to go. And now it's time to give the chocolate fudge a taste. Mmm. Not sure you can see how creamy this is. Wow. It's so smooth and creamy. You've got to try this recipe. And if you want to enjoy it as much as I do, hop onto my website, platingitwithwendy.com, where you will find the full written recipe. Thanks for watching. See you soon.